Hello and welcome to this video about why I think reaching armor cap is worth it in ESO. At first, let's look at how damage mitigation works. Damage di mitigation of different types or trees or classes or whatever, how you want to define it, are all cumulative. So this means that block and armor are cumulative. So that means that, you know, A times B times C times D until you eventually reach armor. It does not matter in what order we multiply these. So for this video, we're just going to work within the scope of uh, armor and we imagine that it's the last factor that we multiply with. So everything else has been multiplied before we add in armor. Um, armor works a bit like a spanning tree. Armor is the combination of physical and spell resistance. So it, it counts as both. And will uh, mitigate any non-oblivion damage in the game. It will basically block any damage of any type below it in the spanning tree. Below armor in the spelling tree is spell and physical uh, resistance. They'll block any damage that is within a source below them as well in the, span uh, in the spanning tree. Below spell resistance is things like fire resistance or force resistance. These are the two most important damage types. And below physical um, are disease and poison and bleed. These are the three most important damage types below physical resistance. The armor cap is 33,000. Is because our character is level 66. And therefore, it takes a combined 606 resistances within the damage type to reach uh, the cap at uh, to reach 1%, and the cap is set at 50%. 50, uh, 50 so that's why the number is 33,000. So if you're taking fire damage, the combination of fire resistance, spell resistance, and armor is how much reduction you take, capped at 33,000. Fire damage won't help against any other type of damage, but uh, spell resistance and armor will. So for example, shock uh, damage will only be your spell resistance and armor and any um, mitigation you might have to shock damage. So to sum up things, 660 armor equals 1% reduction. So with everything we've learned so far, I think it's time for a small quiz. You have 15,180 armor, which equals to 23% damage mitigation. You're taking 11,627 damage. You decide to swap a piece of armor and now gain an extra 660 armor, which equals to 1% more damage mitigation. So now you're at 24% damage mitigation. How much less damage does the hit do now? So is it A, 116 less damage, B, 151, C, 143? The correct answer is, of course, B151. If you guess correctly, then congratulations. If not, then this video is for you. How do you arrive at 151? Well, we know the original hit was X times 0 0.77, which equals to the 11,627. So, of course, we just divide 11,627 by 0.77 and get the original hit of 15,100. We didn't know that we take 1% less damage, so we take 1% of 15,100, which equals to 151. If you got answer A, which was the wrong answer, you took 1% of 11,627 and forgot that the hit had already been reduced by 23%. If you got answer C, then you increased 11,627 by 23%, which is closer to the correct answer, but this is not the correct way of deriving the original damage number. So, why is this all important? Well, 151 divided by 11,627 equals to 1.29%. That means that the 1% damage mitigation you, you get actually reduces your current damage by 1.29%. That's a very big increase in how much it reduces. And that's already at 15,180 armor. This is not a lot of armor. The damage mitigation you get from damage mitigation or from armor grows exponentially. If you just look at current damage, the more armor you get, the more it reduces your current damage. And this is very important. This is the equation I made for how much mitigation you get from adding 1% extra damage mitigation. At 50% damage mitigation, so the last 660 armor, you get 2% less current damage taken. And this is a lot, this is double the amount. This graph also explains why the armor cap exists in the first place. If we expand the graph, then we can see that the damage mitigation really takes off 
above 50% because it's an exponential function. So how does it work? Um, why is it an exponential function? So to explain it in simple terms, imagine that you have a 1k hit and your armor now blocks 200. So this is 20% damage mitigation of your current damage. And now you, the hit is doing 800 damage and you add on top of another 200 armor. Well, this is now 25% damage mitigation of your current damage taking. And you add another 200 so it's 200 from 600 damage, and that's 33% damage mitigation. And this goes on all the way to 100% unless we have an armor cap. And that's why the armor cap exists. So why should you aim for reaching the armor cap? I think reaching the armor cap is very important. Because while the absolute value from the damage decrease from your first 30,000 armor is the same as the last 30,000 armor, the value on your current damage taking is not and there's a lot more juice to get from those last 3,000 armor, so I think they're worth getting if it's not too difficult. The typical argument against reaching armor cap is that you can survive without being at armor cap, and it is possible to survive most content without being at armor cap. But my position on that is this. How many global cooldowns are you using on survival? And how many of those global cooldowns could be freed up uh, by taking less damage to do something else like buffing your group? And if that answer is not zero, absolute zero, then getting more armor is worth it. This argument is very close to what I often see from healers saying, well, I can sustain without sustain glyphs. And that argument is completely fair. If you are doing 60 cals per minute, if you're doing anything less, then you should probably invest into sustained jewelry. The other argument for getting armor cap is that block does not mitigate bleeds or thoughts. This means that the armor is the only practical way of reducing your damage taking other than swapping to a necromancer because you can't just block more you, can, you can't block these hits and this is why i always try to reach armor cap in ESO on my tanks as well as my pvp healer and that was all for this video and thank you for watching